More than 100 years of history, a sprawling hospital campus in the city of Norwalk. Tonight, our Desmond Shaw is taking a look at the Metropolitan State Hospital. Well, take a look at this big facility in Norwalk. This is the Metropolitan State Hospital. It's a public hospital specializing in psychiatric care for hundreds of people with mental health conditions. Established in 1913 as Norwalk State Hospital, the sprawling campus at one time was about 400 acres, but has long since been pared down to about 160 acres. The hospital could have been built in Beverly Hills or Signal Hill, but Norwalk was selected because of its proximity to good transportation, either by car or railroad. Similar to L the uh, LA County Poor Farm in a lot of ways, with really similar architecture, actually some really beautiful grounds and beautiful buildings here. One reason this campus is so large is because for a long time it was totally self-sufficient. They had a farm here that grew fruits and vegetables. They had dairy livestock as well. But after World War II, as all of Southern California began growing by leaps and bounds, the hospital was scaled back and much of the surrounding area developed into homes and businesses. The number of patients has shrunk over the years from a high of about 4,400 in the 1960s to around 800 people today. And the majority of the patients that are here are under court order conservatorships. Other patients include those deemed incompetent to, instand, uh, to stand trial or judge not guilty by reason of insanity. This is one of the few remaining state hospitals uh, in the state, and it's not been without its problems. It was the subject of a dark documentary called Hurry Tomorrow, which you can research if you want to learn more about that dark time. And as such, this area does have a pretty haunted reputation. And actually, just at the beginning of 2023, a former NFL player who was a patient here was only 40 years old, suddenly collapsed and died. Still, the hospital is the second largest employer in the city of Norwalk, plays a vital role and training and internships for medical, psychology, and social work students of local universities like USC, Azusa Pacific University, several of our local Cal State universities as well. And there's also a museum here, which opened in 2016, provides a look at how California's mission has evolved over the last 100 years in the care for the mentally ill. It's an all-volunteer effort between hospital staff and local university students. DSH.ca.gov. If you're interested in booking a tour, I've always been curious what the story was behind this massive set of beautiful buildings. So thanks to Andre Gaijin for telling me to come and check it out. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.